So this meditation I call the inside out meditation. The technique essentially is, you know, assume a meditative position, sitting up, lying down, standing, walking. For this one in particular, it's probably good not to be walking. So being still would be good. The technique, kind of the thought guiding the meditation is surrender expectations for mind and environment. Surrender expectations for mind and environment. And in this thinking, what we're going to do is we're going to treat the body as environment that's feelable within. Oftentimes our self-conception is, okay, here I am, right, my body here, and then the environment is like the rest of the world, right, everything around it, including other people's bodies and all this stuff. What I invite you to do is to look at it differently. See the environment as everything that is physical, which includes your body, the outside of your body and the inside of your body. What makes your body unique to you, right, what makes our bodies unique to each of us is we can feel our bodies from within, right? I feel mine from within, you feel yours from within, but the vice versa is not true, right? You don't feel mine from within, I don't feel yours from within. That's kind of how we know our bodies that our bodies just based on feeling. And so when you're in the meditation and we're surrendering expectations for mind and environment, that means we're surrendering expectations for our thoughts, our imaginings, things like that. We're surrendering expectations in concerning noise, temperature, light, sound, kind of what we think of as the external environment, but we're also surrendering expectations for our body, right? The environment that's feelable within, what we feel and sense through our sense organs, and also what we experience inside of our bodies. So essentially, the, the idea behind the technique is we're trying to essentially surrender expectations wherever they may try to attach to us. Because, you know, the Buddha's noble truths essentially, you know, a different way to phrase it would be suffering is unfulfilled expectations or unmet expectations. And so if what we can do is not pretend like we're not going to have expectations, right, they're naturally going to just keep popping up, right, the body and the mind will constantly generate them. But the skill we're trying to learn is to recognize them as expectations and to let them go, right? Which is another way to say surrender, right? Recognize, ah, oh, there's an expectation and we let it go, right? And we don't have to say out loud or within our heads, oh, there's an expectation. The recognition can almost be unstated, right? And the key is we're just letting it go, right? We're just letting it go. We're not clinging to it. We're trying not to fixate on it, indulge too much. We're just letting it go. And so the ways we're going to know that we're dealing with an expectation, right? is we're gonna have language like should or shouldn't, right? That dog, where I'm meditating right now, that dog shouldn't be barking out in the yard. It's messing up my meditation. It's messing up my concentration. In this meditative technique, we recognize, oh, it's an expectation, isn't it? I am expecting the dog shouldn't be barking, and I let that go. And I may notice, right? Well, I'm still annoyed about it. I'm still frustrated about it, right? That's an expectation now I'm feeling emotionally in the body. Right? I recognize that. Oh, that's an expectation. I let it go, right? I surrender it. I let it go. Like, damn, damn, oh God, I just noticed it's kind of cold in here. Damn, I let it go. All right, I surrender and I let it go. Now here's an interesting twist on this technique. Let's say you notice it's cold, right? And you're actually, your body starts shivering. And let's say that during the meditation, you get up, you grab a sweatshirt and you put it on. You grab a sort of sweatpants and put it on. Maybe you put a blanket on yourself and you sit back down. Notice how you may now have an expectation of, oh damn, I shouldn't have done that during the meditation. That was an interruption of the meditation, right? What I encourage you to do is to always recognize that the moment and the opportunity for surrender is now. Right? It's always now. It's not then. It's now. So in that situation I just came up with where it's like, oh, damn, it's cold. Right? And I say, okay, the technique is to surrender expectation. And then I notice I get up and I put on something warm. Right? Do I treat that as an excuse to give up on the meditation? To say, oh, this meditation shot. I'm not listening to myself. I'm not following. This is an invitation to recognize something. Right? And this is subtle that always in the moment now, right, I can look back and I can say, okay, well, I'm just gonna let that go. Apparently I had an expectation that I wouldn't get up during the meditation, and I did. Now what? I just let it go. Let the expectation go, right? Don't go back and ask, why did I do that? When am I gonna do better next time? Punish myself, right? Tell stories about how in the next meditation I'm gonna do better, right? In this moment now, whatever expectations you notice are coming up, including these meta or second degree expectations about other expectations, just let them go. Let them go. Notice the other subtle point here, right? We may have expectations about what surrendering and letting go look like, what they will feel like. Ah, uh, well, when I surrender and let it go, it's going to be like a bunch of balloons that were in my hand, and I just let them go, and they all fly freely into the sky, and they're gone, right? I've now got a clear mind, an open body. Everything's all good. 
that's an expectation, right? And if that doesn't happen, we might go, oh, no, seriously? Oh, God, it sucks, right? And in the moment, I recognize, okay, I had an expectation of how that would go, of how this would feel, of how it ought to feel, of how I want it to feel, of how I think I need it to feel. Kind of let that go. So letting expectations go, letting expectations about expectations go, right? Noticing the layered nature of expectations, how they're sometimes kind of orbiting the same kind of planet, almost like kind of moons with each other and they play off of each other. And I think a main benefit of this technique is we're going to notice just how rife our minds and our bodies are with these expectations, how intense of a role they play, how much they contour and shape our beings, our experiences. And again, it's not about trying to get rid of expectations. Notice that's an expectation itself, right? The expectation that expectations be gotten rid of, right? You can get caught in that rat trap all the time. What we want to do is to learn the technique inside ourselves, which is we're grabbing onto these expectations, right? We're kind of squeezing them and holding onto them, thinking they're going to keep us safe, thinking they're going to bring us what we want, help us avoid what we don't need, right? All these things. So we cling to these expectations. What we're trying to learn to do is to soften that grip, right? Soften that grip over and over. We're not trying to make the expectation go away. Notice, again, that's an expectation that it go away. We're just trying to soften that grip, right? And we're not even, if possible, trying to put an expectation on a softening of the grip. The softening of the grip will naturally occur with the recognition, right? If we set that intention in the beginning, okay, I, I want to recognize expectations and I want to surrender them. Right? That's an intention we set, right? We don't expect it of ourselves. We just say, this is my intention. This is my desire, right? And we let it be. And then in the course of the meditation, as the expectations arise, we allow the mind in its recognition to just let the expectations go. Not push the expectation away, not bury the expectation down. The mind actually has no attitude toward the expectation itself. It's the mind attitude toward itself of a softening and an opening around the expectation. And the more we can do this, the less we're clinging to these things, thinking we need them, blaming them for our problems, all these things. And the more we could just be open, free, and clear in the moment, right, to take a situation in, to realize maybe there isn't really a problem where there seemed to be one. Oftentimes the problem we're fe feeling is the vibration or the kind of shaking of our clenching so hard to an expectation, right? We may feel it in our body somewhere. It may manifest in our thoughts as kind of an obsessive, swirling thought. That's usually an indicator that somewhere inside of us, we're clinging to some belief or expectation so tightly and so hard. And what this meditation technique can help us do is gradually and softly through practice, learn the art of allowing the mind to release expectations, right? By setting the intention at the beginning and then using the power of recognition. Ah, there's an expectation. What was my intention? Oh yeah, let it go. No expectations. Let any expectations I have around this intention go. Any expectations I have around recognition go. I'm just trying to let my mind and my body learn this art of gently opening and gently letting go, letting these things be free so that they're no longer these things we're clinging to, these things we're convinced we absolutely need, right? Kind of almost like a pacifier we think we need to have to stay comfortable. We let it go. We let it be. And whatever it does is its business. Our business is softening and letting go, softening and letting go. And so the technique again Surrender expectations for mind and environment. And remember that the physical body is environment as well. It's distinction being it's feelable within.